You know, you watch him play as a, as a youngster, he was an gr- incredible mover. And, and once you see someone that moves great, they can adjust to playing on grass or, or here or wherever. It's just, it's like, I just feel like he's just such an incredible athlete, he just figured it out because he's a great mover. And I didn't play not my best tennis, no, I didn't play my, my tennis and for that reason I lose. And, and that's it, congratulate him. And keep, keep working hard for the next tournament. I was ready to compete, I lost. I don't know if I will be back to the level of 2008 or 2010. 2007 or 2006 or 11. My motivation is try to be back to that level. I only keep working on that. Painful for me, but um, that's part of life. That's part of sport. It's not the end of the world. Very, very bad feelings. Even with very bad conditions, I finished a lot of matches in my career. That because I didn't want to retire. It. Today I was suffering for the health. Well, just um, hello, and I'm here just to announce that I have to to retire from from the tournament because I I have a, a problem in my in my wrist that uh, I have since a couple of weeks. That um, is every day that happens is stronger. I really feel the love of the people and that's, that's very important for, for everybody. Rafael Nadal, the greatest clay court player ever to play this game. Rafa is immense. Rafa is a sporting icon, the like of which we will never see again, I don't think.